Yeah, so Tuesdays are definitely starting to look like Tuesdays, news days, and we got some news today. There was a Singularity 6 acquisition with Daybreak Games. We're going to cover that in a minute. We're also going to cover some Singularity 6 glass door information. Mainly just Singularity 6 reviews, and I can understand why this accusation happened. I had no intentions of this being today's video. However, it is news. I'm going to cover it. But today was actually going to be the cookbook video where I'm updating you guys on the cookbook. We're moving that to Thursday. If you're interested in the cookbook still for Pilia, definitely check out the Discord. There's a rough draft. But yeah, we'll cover all that Thursday. But with all that being said, let's go ahead and get into the video. On Singularity 6's website, they posted an article with the title singularity six daybreak game company cozy up and studio acquisition the singularity six team has some exciting news to share that is bigger than the Kaju frogbird if you can believe that's even possible as of today we're adding a new chapter to the singularity six lore acquisition some folks can find reading this chapter to be scary a lot of people in the Pelia discord were just absolutely freaking the fuck out i get it i totally understand acquisition is a big Big scary word this is something that I saw uh, all right I'm gonna correct myself on that this is not something that I saw coming immediately this was explained to me by one of my mods named Frank he was sitting there saying what singularity 6 was doing with the layoffs and everything which once again I, I definitely feel those for the devs that get laid off that was completely unjustified what he explained to me and once again this is just something that's explained to me it's it's not something like this is how it went down pretty much what singularity 6 did was they did a bunch of layoffs and then they kept premium prices so they would have a nice cozy package for someone that uh, maybe wants to do an acquisition of the company like daybreak games our team is absolutely thrilled to be joining forces with daybreak game company a subsidiary of an ad global 7 ab eg7 that sounds like a Star Wars droid. Known for publishing and supporting some of the world's most popular and successful online multiplayer franchises such as EverQuest, H1Z1, The Lord of the Rings Online, and more. Big fan of EverQuest and a huge fucking fan of The Lord of the Rings Online. And this is why I'm not necessarily scared. Daybreak did a lot of good for Lord of the Rings Online. They, however, they, they did do a lot of bad for, for DC. So honestly, this is a 50-50. This is a, a toss up. This can go really good or it can go really bad. It's entirely in the next three to six months. Some people are very fearful of Daybreak, saying they're gonna incorporate a bunch of pay-to-win options. Maybe, who knows? However, one thing I do wanna point out is Daybreak is under a new ownership as of December 1st, 2020. They did a lot of stuff in the past, they got rebought out, so you can definitely look at the new ownership and think, hey, maybe we need to pump the brakes a little bit, let's see how this goes. I am staying calm in this whole situation. I do think we all should stay calm. I do want to point out though that I'm, I don't stress very easily, I don't freak out very easily. I come from a high stress job where it requires you to, you know, be able to work under high stress situations like a fire in those situations like i had to keep a level head so that's that's what i'm going to be doing here with daybreak's extensive industry experience and pedigree our studio's potential for growth can be felt from the Kilima mountains to the shores of bahari bay the acquisition provides us with some incredible resources and support to continue developing Pelia and elevate the product to meet the gold standard that our players expect including engaging new content impactful social features and the quality of life improvements across the board that to me is really good news they want to include new content the social features that I've been begging for and obviously like they said quality of life improvements the game definitely needs quality of life improvements it definitely does need new content and it definitely does need new social features however I am going to point this out if you go to the singularity 6 reviews on glass door I'm not going to dive heavily deep into these reviews but I want you guys to go there I want you to look and read all these reviews so you can form an opinion on why I think this acquisition is a good thing one of the things that I saw on there is that singularity 6 didn't really have have a hardcore roadmap for the business and the game. And another thing that I saw almost in every single post was talking about the management of Singularity 6. So I'm really hoping this acquisition with Daybreak really brings in better management. What makes this partnership even more special comes down to our unique partnership with Daybreak. It's incredibly exciting to find like-minded partners who share our commitment in investing in our products and players for the long term, and have proven track record of building game communities that last for decades. While Singularity 6 will continue operating independently under the leadership of our co-founders Anthony Long and Aiden Carbalch, the studio will receive invaluable support from Daybreak senior management, including CEO Jiham. It is safe to say that our studio's vision and creative direction will remain intact as 
will continue developing experiences that forge alternate worlds that deepen players' lives. Singularity 6 is buzzing with excitement, energy, and fresh ideas. This acquisition is not just a milestone, it's a launch pad that will help drive the success of our studio, our product Pelia, and our future projects. With the expanded resources, we continue investing in the development and exploration of new innovative ideas and the online multiplayer cozy community sim genre, bringing Pelia to its 1.0 launch and ultimately getting Pelia into the hands of every gamer that wants to play across all major platforms. Stay tuned for more updates and prepare for an incredible journey as Singularity 6 and Daybreak continue collaborating to make Pelia the coziest and most enjoyable online multiplayer game possible. So you can see they are not dropping Pelia whatsoever. I saw a lot of people saying this is the death of Pelia, this is the end of Pelia. They still have full intentions of bringing Pelia to the 1.0 launch. And for the looks of it, they still plan to do even more than that. They plan to keep expanding the game, planning to bring new content, and they have more resources. Now this is what I want to get a little bit more real. If you go to the Glassdoor reviews, they actively did not listen to the player feedback. Now that Daybreak is here, please listen to the player feedback of Pelia. Pelia is a amazing gaming community. There is a lot of people here that want to see the game succeed. And this community knows exactly what is required for the game to continue, for the longevity of the game. That is farming. We need ranching. We, the game definitely needs ranching. It needs new social features. It needs new community features. And these bugs need to be squashed. And I swear to God, give us a new adventure zone. Give us the Elder Woods or give us the Summer Island. If you know, you know. And guys, I totally understand. It's scary. Change is scary. But this does not mean it's the end of Pelia. We don't know if they're going to make the game pay to win. We don't know anything just yet. I say give this three to six months before you make any decision whatsoever. Do not jump ship. The best thing for the Pelia community is to not lose your mind and stand together. Stay unified. So let's be the awesome community that I know we can be. And we wait patiently to see what Daybreak can do. But in other news... The cookbook video is coming either Thursday or Saturday. I, I had I was gonna drop it today, but I didn't because this is some big news that I needed to cover. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. What do you guys think of the daybreak situation? And while you're down there commenting, be sure to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you know when I upload a video. But if you know the exact moment I upload a video, be sure to join the Discord. The Discord is a super happy and fun place where everyone is welcome. And if you're watching this right now, this very second, I'm most likely streaming on Twitch. That's twitch.tv slash Percival P. E R Z I V A L. I am pretty sure that's how you spell my name. Come on in. The chat is just like the Discord, super happy and welcoming. If you want to come in and talk about this video, you can definitely do that. Or if you want to come in and tell me you hate my face, you can definitely do that as well because I agree it is busted. I stream Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The same time I upload a video, which is Tuesdays and Saturdays at 12 p.m. And last but not least, be sure to follow me on my socials. I have Twitter, Instagram, threads if that's important but yeah go ahead and follow me on all those all those are going to be in the description down below but yeah that is the video and i'll catch you guys in the next one bye